Hey there! At the last Pelican Hub uh, Quadruple M, my main man Murray uh, had some pens with him and said why don't you borrow these and do reviews on them. And one of them was this. This is the Delta 39 plus 1. Delta, famous Italian pen company, unfortunately went under a couple of years ago. Now has been resuscitated and uh, the, this is uh, uh, a pen they have now released, the 39 plus 1. I will, it's a limited edition, it is certainly not cheap. Um, I will talk about the parts of the pen, I will do a writing sample, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the pen and different features, and then I'll talk about what I like and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Let's have a look at the Delta 39 plus 1. Uh, large pen. I'll show it to you next to a Pilot Metropolitan. I don't have the box, right, because I borrowed this pen. I will take a sip of tea. Basically resuscitated Delta and uh, limited edition. 399 of these pens. The celluloid was used before by Delta on the Enrico Caruso. Fantastic opera singer, by the way. Uh, the pen has a gold filme trim, so remember that's gold over silver. Cartridge converter or eyedropper filled pen. Uh, it has the right balance in the back cone there that I will get to in just a second. Uh, and it has gold plated threading. You can get these 18 karat nibs. Um, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 uh, millimeter italic, and uh, they're all Yovo nibs. This one happens to be abroad, and that's pretty much it. Uh, before we get into anything else, the street price on these is about 1279 US, so they're expensive pens. MSRP is quite a bit higher too, but that's about what, what you can expect to pay, and it is a limited edition. I don't have the box to show you. Like I said, I, I borrowed this from someone, so I don't have a box. I'm sorry, but, but I will show you the pen. So interesting with the very pointy ends I found. Um, the finial there is quite nice. It is certainly deeply tapered as a cap, right? And then slightly bulbous in the barrel and then it, it gets to quite a nice point there. Um, you could theoretically use this in hand-to-hand -hand combat, I have the feeling, <clears throat> but that's not what it's intended for. Here you have this very nice scroll work. This is very Delta. If you've ever held a Delta like a Dolce Vita or something, this is what you uh, what you would see. Very, very nice. I like that. We have the the clip, Delta and the wheel. I'm not sure how I feel about this massive Delta there. I, I think I would have preferred it without that, but that's just me. We do have the wheel, which is a nice Delta feature. They always had those. And then we have that barrel. Very, I find it a very sleek barrel, right? It's, it's, it's nice and curved. Um, then we have another ring here which says um, Anni 1982 2022 um, Versary Oh Annie oh god it's sorry it's early Anni Versary I thought it was Anni I thought it was Italian anyway <clears throat> I guess it is because they're years anyway <laughs> uh, moving on okay so here's that um, interesting right balance system that they have you can unscrew this cone, and then in there is a gold-plated 2 gram weight, which you can take out. It looks just like a cute little weight, right? Now, if you take this out, of course, the pen functions. Um, and then the weight of the pen is more towards the front. If you leave it in, then obviously the weight of the pen is more towards the back. And there are different purposes. Long writing sessions, you may want to have it here, and, and um, calligraphers might want to have it there. In any case, it's kind of cute, and I will say you do feel it. Two grams is not that much, but on a relatively light pen you do feel it a bit. So I, was, I, I had this cynicism of you're never going to feel that. You actually do. How big of a difference it truly makes, that I'm not sure, but I can say you do actually feel it when it's in there or when it's not. Although we should do a double-blind study to see if people really notice. Anyway, uh, this pen, 
does not really post, I would say. I mean, you can sort of make it work, but I, I, I try not to. It's also not my pen. I don't want to scratch the celluloid. It is, by the way, a very attractive celluloid, if you ask me. I really love that deep brown. Um, here we have Delta Italy on that gold plated uh, on the threads. And this is pen number 382 out of 399. The whole assembly unscrews. Let's hope it's not eyedroppered. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, no, it's not. Here we have the Delta converter. There's a nice rubber O-ring there for eyedropper purposes. Uh, and then we have a section, hourglass shaped, with a Yovo nib, in this case 18K broad, uh, with the Delta logo. And it's, as I said, it's a nice size of pen. Now, um, we are not a hundred percent sure what ink was in here but it is probably an Iro Shizuku ink. Murray was fairly certain of that. I'm going to zoom out a little bit, give you a bit more space. So here we have the Delta 39 plus 1 18k broad with some ink. <clears throat> Excuse me. Very pleasant, very nice, smooth writer. And, <clears throat> pardon me, I will say, my first thoughts on seeing this were, I don't know, that looks like a very skinny section for a bulbous pen and then the sharp end, I don't, that doesn't look very comfortable to me. It's comfortable. I find it very comfortable. It fits my hand very well with that weight. I, I will say it is actually very nice. Okay, wetness. Pretty wet. Line variation. Very careful. It's not a flex nib, but you could squeeze some out if you were so inclined. Reverse writing possible takes this broad to I would say an extra fine that's a very skinny line and it's not super scratchy I felt way worse so overall I would say this 39 plus one very nice pen I think it's a very very comfortable writer let's talk about likes and dislikes what do I like what do I not like about this pen I think there certainly are things to be loved about it. The material is, I find, very attractive. It is a very nice celluloid with a nice amount of depth to it without being too ostentatious. And that's not meant as a value judgment. Some celluloids are just very in your face. This one is nice and refined. I could certainly see someone using this, so to speak, at The Undertaker or something, uh, and, and it would still be okay. That's a really weird example, but you get the point. Um, great writer. It's just a Yovo nib. It's not something made in-house like say Aurora would. But having said that, it writes very, very pleasantly. Smooth, nice and wet, very well tuned, lovely to use. So I certainly have no issues with that. At the end of the day, that's what I would say most of us buy a pen for. They really want to write with it and it's a joy to write with. The shape is different, and I like that. It's not yet another sort of blocky pen. It's refined. When I saw it, I thought, I don't know how comfortable this is, but it really is comfortable. Nice long section. You don't feel these threads because the section is big enough for your fingers to be away from them. I think it's very, very nice. So these are all things that I love. Uh, things I don't like so much. The, the very pointy bit at the end, yeah, that's a aesthetics thing that you may or may not like. When it comes to that little gold-plated weight in the end, um, there certainly is a difference you feel when you write. Although, like I said earlier, I would love to do a double-blind study and see if people really notice it. I do feel that I feel a difference. I have the feeling I... How many times can I say feel? Um, I, I do believe 
I feel a difference as I write with it, but I wonder if that's a placebo effect. So it's a little gimmicky, I think, this weight that you can put in or not put in, but I certainly think it's interesting and it's fascinating to experiment with and see how you like it. So that, I think, is nice. There are other pen companies that have done similar things where you can you can move a weight inside of the pen. I, I know I've, I've seen this in the past. That's kind of nice. Um, two more things that I would say. There is no center band, and you are talking metal threads on celluloid. My fear with that would always be that at some point, accidentally, someone over-tightens that and the cap cracks. There is no center band to kind of disperse that, that pressure. So I would, I would be careful with this. Uh, there doesn't really seem to be any posting. Well, it's a fairly big pen, so I, I don't know you really have to post it. The final thing I will say is I think the MSRP is something like $15.99 US. It's a very expensive pen. Yes, limited edition gold nib, celluloid. These are good selling points, but also cartridge converter. You can use it as an eyedropper pen, so it's not a spectacular filling system. It's certainly pretty, I think. It's an, for me, I think it's a nice design because it's an original design, um, but it's not cheap. And even the street price, I saw it at Goulet for $1,279 US. Uh, that's, that's still by no means cheap. So... Nice pen, lovely writer, but very expensive. That's it. I hope this was useful, and um, I'll gladly see you later. Thanks to Murray for lending me the pen. Bye!